Is Tesla gonna be paying out a dividend soon? Wait a minute, wait, what? When, how, wait, what? And if they are, when, how much, how often, and just why? So recently it has come to my attention that maybe, maybe Tesla may be paying out a dividend. And someone like me who's an extreme Tesla bull, well not an extreme Tesla bull, I'm just a Tesla bull, and who's going all in into Tesla stock. By the way guys, if you want to get a go all in, t-shirt merch link is in the bio and car in the corner but someone like me who's a tesla bull and is going all in into tesla stock well a dividend will be an awesome cherry on the top but will they actually provide a dividend will they actually do it because elon musk had said it himself that paying out a dividend is pretty much useless so the company doesn't issue any dividends nor will it ever it's like throwing out money in his own opinion while that same money can be you know reinvested back into the company to make it bigger so knowing that it got me really curious Will Tesla do a dividend? And if they do a dividend, again, how much, what percentage, how much payout, when and why? And in this video, we're gonna be predicting when Tesla will do a dividend or maybe never doing a dividend, but we're gonna predict that too. And if they do decide to do a dividend, how much money would you get on a monthly, quarterly or annual basis, depending on how they would do it. So that being said, sit tight, get your popcorn, your snack, your girlfriend, your spouse, brother, whoever you watch these videos with, smash that like button, don't forget to subscribe, it's gonna get interesting, man. Let's go. So doing a little bit of the research, Elon Musk has made it really, really clear. Paying out a dividend is a waste of money. That same money can be reinvested back into the company to make it bigger. Hence, giving you more return on your initial capital. But what will happen if one day, one day Tesla hits a point where everything they did, the FSD, the Bob, the RoboTaxi, the energy, and their entire missions to changing or transitioning to sustainable energy has been met. In other words, Tesla has reached their top and have boatload of money that they don't know what to do with. Will they actually pay a dividend then? We're gonna look at two different scenarios. One, the Apple scenario, and two, the Google scenario. If we look at the Apple scenario, Apple started paying dividend in 2012. And they only started paying a dividend when they reached around 41, oh, close to $42 billion in net income. If you add 3% inflation every single year up until 2012 till now, that's close to $60 billion, 56 billion, but let's just say $60 billion. So we could assume that maybe, just maybe, Tesla might, might do the same thing when they reach 60 billion in net income. But then again, the same argument comes where Elon Musk said paying a dividend is a waste of money. So the company doesn't issue any dividends, nor will it ever. That coordinates to Google's situation. Google makes a boatload of money. Billions and billions and billions a year on out. But yet, they refuse to pay a dividend because they reinvest the money back into the company to expand it. This is the route where Tesla is mainly going through and in my personal humble opinion, this is what's going to be happening with Tesla in the next five, maybe even in this decade. No dividends, unfortunately. And that's my humble opinion. I'm just expressing my own opinion and my own opinion alone. It doesn't mean it's gonna become true or not, although, Either it does or not, it doesn't matter for me because if it pays a dividend, I benefit. If it doesn't, I still benefit. I mean, I still benefit both ways. However though, however, I do believe that they'll be doing intensive buybacks rather than dividends as we go forward. I believe the first buyback will happen sometime in 2024, but for dividends, I think it may take a lot longer than that. But I do believe sometime down the line, maybe passing 2030, the soonest I think they'll probably do a dividend is maybe in 2028, 2027, where they're sitting on a lot of cash that they don't know what to do with. I think, I don't know, Tesla is such an innovative company, they're a revolutionary company, they may do something that none of us expect again, I really don't know. But based on today's information, that's what I believe. But hold on, let's go back to Apple's scenario and say that, okay, if they reach $60 billion in net income, they're gonna start doing dividends. The question becomes how much, how often, and how it benefits you. So as usual, we're gonna get into some charts, but before we do, have you smashed the like button, man? Come on, man, smash that like button. All right, let's go. So here we have is the Tesla stock price prediction chart. If you guys are a regular viewer of this channel, you guys are very familiar with this chart. Pretty much in this chart, it's just the vehicles, deliveries, and a little bit of FSD. That's it, nothing else, no insurance, no energy, robo-taxi, none of that. That's gonna be in the second chart where we will look at. 
This chart is more conservative and I've gone through this chart so many darn times that I'm not going to explain it. Everything is so straightforward and right to the point. Although if you guys do want step by step on how I do this chart and you know what it means and if you guys want more details on it, check out this video so you're more enlightened. So going back to this chart, as you guys can see, everything is filled out. We see the total revenue by 2030 just for vehicles and a little bit of FSD alone for sales is almost at $800 billion and net income surpassing quarter of a trillion dollars. That's absolutely crazy. The only thing we got to figure out is the stock prices. So follow along. In 2022, I give it a PE of 90 because most likely we're going to end the year off with a 90 PE because Q3, Q4 is going to be absolutely monstrous. And with the 90 PE, we get a Tesla stock price of 391 bucks per share and a market cap over $1.2 trillion. In 2023, I gave it a PE of 75, a Tesla stock of 601 bucks per share and a market cap almost heading to $2 trillion. 2024, 65 PE, Tesla stock price of 860 bucks per share, market cap over $2.8 trillion. In 2025, I gave it a PE of 55 and we get a stock price of 1176 bucks per share and a market cap almost heading $4 trillion. In 2026, I gave it a PE of 45 and we get a Tesla stock price of 1357 and a market cap exceeding $4.6 trillion. Pretty darn insane, man. In 2027, we predict that Tesla may hit almost 10 million vehicles deliveries crazy a lot of people are saying that they're gonna do a lot sooner than that i'm just gonna keep it conservative growth year over year i think at this point is around 30 percent with a pe of 40 we get a stock price of 1605 and a market cap almost 5.5 exceeding 5.5 trillion dollars in 2028 with a pe of 35 we get almost 1800 bucks per share and a market cap over 6.3 trillion dollars in 2029 a pe of 30 which is honestly a joke but anyways keeping it conservative we get a stock price of 1828 and a market cap over 6.5 trillion dollars and by 2030 again keeping the PE at 30 we get a stock price over $2,000 per share and a market cap over $7.5 trillion like sheesh that's crazy that's like what in a conservative case the 6 7 x that's not bad but the real question comes now when will Tesla make a dividend here and how much? If we look at Apple right now, because we are using Apple as a scenario here, their dividend right now is almost at 0.6%, but their shares outstanding is five times more than Tesla's, a bit more than that. So if you bring Apple shares down to what Tesla's shares outstanding is now, that's about a 3% dividend. Now, in my personal opinion, if Tesla becomes a dividend stock as well, if they start to pay out dividends, I don't think they're going to start off with 3%, most likely and probably half of that in my opinion. But let's say 2%, rather than 3%. Now again, Apple started paying their dividends in 2012 when their net income was around $42 billion. If you put that on a 3% inflation rate year over year from 2012 till now, that comes down to $56 billion. Let's just round that up and say 60 billion in net income. So looking at the chart here, we kind of missed the 60 billions because Tesla is going rapidly. Instead, we got $71 billion in 2025. If Tesla decides to pay out a dividend soon as possible, then this is the time where Tesla will be paying out a dividend in 2025. How much we said? We said 2%. So a 2% dividend rate with the stock price being 1176, that's about $23.51 yearly on a dividend. But let's say you only got 10 shares at that time and 10 shares at the price of 1176, that's about $11,757. 2% dividend on that is about 235 bucks and 15 cents yearly, which is pretty much monthly $20, quarterly about $60, bi-annually or every six months about $120, you know, yada, 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 the math. Easy maths. Now, if we continue the same thing all the way to 2030, when the stock price goes above 2,000 bucks per share with 10 shares, we get about over $400 in terms of dividends annually and about 34 bucks a month. Quarterly, almost about 100 bucks. Most likely, if Tesla does decide to do a dividend, the payout will be most likely on a quarterly basis. But let's just play around with this number, man. Let's say you got 100 shares because I know some of you guys watching here, some of you guys do have 100 shares. So yeah, that's about, uh, you know, 2,351 bucks on an annual basis. That's, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Go ahead and extend that to 2030 and that's about over 4,000 bucks just off dividends yearly. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Now again, guys, this is only a prediction and a prediction alone. In my opinion, I don't think they're going to do a dividends in 2025. Maybe not even until 2028. Maybe not even this whole decade, in my opinion. They'll do intensive buybacks. In my, That's most likely what's going to happen. Intensive buybacks. But dividends, I don't think so. But anywho, this is the conservative chart. Let's go look at 
the um the everything chart the bot robo taxi insurance energy everything just everything so as you guys can see this chart right here is pretty darn monstrous and if you guys want to get more information on how i made this chart the step by step is right here it's pretty darn intense and interesting and informative so i recommend you guys to check that video out too after this one giving everything that we have here the chart is still conservative if everything here becomes alive the robot taxi the bot the insurance all that the energy if they become alive and if they do the total revenue by 2030 it'll be exceeding 1.3 trillion dollars which is absolutely insane and a net income almost half a trillion that's just insane i can't comprehend these numbers man to be honest with you but net income over $428 billion. That's absolutely insane. We said in the conservative chart where we had just the vehicles and the FST only, stock price by 2030 will be over 2000. Here we have the stock price will be over 4,000 if we add everything, which is absolutely insane. But knowing all that, we said 60 billion in net income is where Tesla will probably would do a dividend. And here we have it again in 2025. So 2% of the stock price in 2025 of 1,339, would give you a dividend of $26.78 per year per share. Let's say you got 10 shares, that'll give you a cost of $13,388. On that, a 2% dividend is about $267.77. Hopefully, we hope by 2025, inflation will be down by 2%. So that way you don't lose your value on your Tesla investment. That's how I'm thinking that Tesla may do. Tesla will just reward their investors in a way that they don't lose their money to inflation. I mean, let's hope in 2025 it'll just be 2%, right? <laughs> right? Anywho, dragging that up all the way to 2030. I mean, just look at the capital, man. The capital almost 4 Xs. Look at that, from 13K to almost almost 41K. That's flipping crazy. The dividend, obviously 4Ks as well to 816 or $17 annually. Now, obviously, this is not including increases on dividends. We're just going to say 2% throughout the whole years. Most likely, if Tesla does do a dividend, they will probably increase it every other year or every three years or so. But let's say you got 100 shares because we did 100 shares in the conservative as well. And in uh, 2025, we get a stock dividend. Obviously, just 10x of what we had, almost like 2700 annually for 2025. And then if we go to 2030, you know, over 8K just in, you know, dividends. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Good on you if you got 100 shares. But nonetheless, guys, this is only a prediction, a prediction only. I can't stress that enough for entertainment purposes as well. But in my humble opinion, man, I don't think a dividend is possible in this decade. Unless, again, Tesla just makes money. Even if they reach 60 billion, 70 billion net income, I don't think they would necessarily do a dividend. I just think that they'll probably do a more intensive buyback and just double down on what they're doing so they can, you know, grow the business even further. If they're actually serious about the bot and going forward forward with the bot, I mean, that's the next investment they're going to put in heavily. So yeah, that's my opinion and my opinion alone, not facts, but just opinion. That's all, nothing more and nothing less. But whether they do a dividend or they don't do a dividend or they do buybacks or don't do buybacks, but most definitely they'll do buybacks, I'm going all in into Tesla stock and you guys already know that. So it's not really important for me if they do a dividend, if they do, hey. Hey, hooray, another passive income comes my way. I'm not gonna say no. But again, in this decade, I don't think that's gonna happen. But do you know what is going to happen in this decade? Tesla stock splits, that's inevitable. And you know what? I made a video here guessing and predicting when the stock splits will happen. And it's absolutely crazy. Check it out, you won't be disappointed. Don't forget to subscribe guys and I shall see you guys in the next video. See ya.